Yung Dator Hingin. Special case for this type of linear equation that I call it for. So your new is much superior compared to the commonly prescribed graph. If it is within this one, the FTR region, Okay, so our topic now will be about separation of variables. So we'll just write here our topic and our screen. Okay, separation of variables. Okay, so separation of vari variables is a method of Solving the solution of ODE. So ODE stands for Ordinary Differential Equation of Order 1. So meaning, uh, separation of variables is a method of solving the solution, the, gen the general solution of a... Of a of a ordinary differential equation of order 1, meaning the highest order derivative of our given differential equation is uh, first order. Okay, so the equation of order 1 is given by the form. Okay, we will just write the form here. M d x plus n dy. Okay. is equal to 0. Now, if we are, this is the form of our uh, first order, or order 1, ODE. Now, for us to be able to apply the method of separation of variables, so our M, okay, so condition for this condition for this um, method is our m is a function of x alone and n is a function of y alone. So our uh, form now of our first order DE will become M function of X DX plus N function of Y DY is equal to 0. So yielding a solution in which we will have for this one, if we are going to get the, the, the solution for this one, so we will just be um, getting the I will, we will just be in integrating each of the terms of the equation. So we will just have integral of mx dx plus integral of ny dy is equal to integral of 0 or we could have that one as um, a constant. So this will, we, this will become maybe a, a new function of x. Okay, so we just call that one as small m plus uh, small n y equal to a constant. So this now will be our solution of our differential equation. Okay, so if you have a given um, ordinary differential equation in this form, so we, we must find a way that the, our m will just be all equal or a function of x and our n will just be a function of y. Okay. So to illustrate this one, we will have some examples. So first we will have example 1. Okay. So we we'll start with a very easy problem. We have dy dx is equal to 2y over x. 
Okay, so this is very easy. So we'll just find a way that we could have the form mx dx plus n of y dy is equal to 0. So first, what we are going to do is that we will um, for this one, just copy dy dx is equal to 2y over x. So we'll just multiply both sides by um, dx over 2y. So we will have, so for this term, we will have only dy 2y is equal to dx over x then we will transpose this one to the other side of the equation okay so we will have dx over x minus dy over 2y is equal to 0 so if we are going to inspect this one our let's just have the one in color green okay our m m of x so the function of uh, the um, function in terms of x which is accompanied by dx is 1 over x and for our n of y so the function that is on y is equal to negative 1 over 2y okay so the the m of x are all in terms of x and the n of y is in terms of y so we could rewrite our differential equation as 1 over x so this is our m of x dx plus negative 1 over 2y dy is equal to 0 so we now have the form m of x dx plus m n of y dy then we will be integrating each of the term so using our knowledge now in um, integral so the integral of 1 over x this is ln x then we will have plus minus 1 over 2 ln y is equal to so if for this instance if all of them is on ln we could express also our integral of a constant so zero is a constant as ln c because ln c is just also a constant it is also equal to c then the next one is for us to for us to multiply both sides by we should have this one um, by 2 okay so we end up with 2 ln x um, minus ln y is equal to uh, 2 ln c now using the property of logarithm so we'll have ln x squared minus ln y is equal to ln c squared okay then we will end up with uh, this answer so we'll end up with using again the property of logarithms so we have ln x squared over y is equal to ln c squared okay now raising both sides to the to um, raising both sides um, in terms of e so if we're gonna raise both sides in terms of e, e ln x squared over y is equal to e ln z squared so we, this one is equal to 1 so we could drop our um, abscissa here so that will become x squared over y is equal to c squared And then we'll be solving for y. So y is equal to x squared over x squared over 
c squared and we could say that our 1 over c squared is also another constant we could have to write as c1 so our our final answer now will be equal to y is equal to c1 x squared and this is now our answer okay so we will have again another example so we will go to a much um, difficult or much uh, what's call that uh, much more um, complex problem so we have example number two okay so we have one plus y squared dx plus 1 plus x squared dy is equal to 0. Okay, we have now this one. Then, we'll just um, check if we have, if all the function of x are um, are together with dx and all the function of y are together with y or dy so in this way inspection so it, it the x are all the functions of x are um in partner with dy so we will find a way that these functions will be transferred to this function and there's also this uh, function here will be transferred to this function so we we will use algebra okay we just have that one in the lower part so solution so we will rewrite y squared dx plus 1 plus x squared x squared dy is equal oops, dy is equal to 0 okay so what we are going to do now is we multiply we divide um, both sides of the equation or multiply both sides of the equation by 1 plus y squared times 1 plus x squared okay nope. so for this term that will become dx over 1 plus x squared plus dy over 1 plus y squared is equal to 0 so now they are all in the, this part dx are all in terms of x and for dy are all in terms of y so we integrate both sides and all and all of the terms okay so the integral of this one is arc so you just review your um, your integral calculus so arc tangent x plus arc tangent y um, is equal to c and this is now your answer okay let's have more examples here okay so this will be example number three okay so our given the differential equation is 2x plus a uh, 2x quantity y plus 1 dx minus y dy is equal to 0 okay so we will have our solution okay so we just copy 2x y plus 1 dx minus y dy is equal to 0 so we multiply both sides by 1 over y plus 1 Okay, so this now will become 2x dx minus, or maybe we just um, quantize our negative, so negative y dy over uh, y plus 1 is equal to 0. So all are in terms of x and all are in terms of y. So this one, this is relatively easy to get the uh, integral this one is 
will use other um, techniques uh, in algebra because they have the same degree. Your numerator and denominator have the same degree. Therefore, you can divide your numerator by the denominator. So, you have y plus 1, ano? Uh, 0. So, you have y plus 1 divide y. So, this will be 1. So, you have y minus um, this will be no, this will be 1 plus uh, 1 so 0 minus 1 that will be negative 1 so you will end up with 1 minus 1 over y plus 1 so your your and your answer now will become 2x dx plus negative um, 1 minus 1 over y plus 1 dy is equal to 0. Okay. Then you just distribute the negative sign. So you have 2x dx plus. So maybe we'll go ahead with this one first so we will rewrite so 1 plus y plus 1 because this is positive minus 1 dy so equals to 0 then we now integrate both sides of the equation okay so we'll end up with this will be um, 2x squared over 2 plus uh, this is ln y plus 1 minus y we just quantitize that 1 is equal to c so this will be cancelled so our answer now will, be, will become uh, x squared plus uh, no minus so we just put this um, y first minus y plus ln y plus 1 is equal to c and this is now our answer so the if you have noticed the process so you must use algebra to uh, group together the function of x over the dx term and group together the functions of y over the dy term okay so let's have one more example So let's find an example in the book here. Okay, so we have this problem here. So some of you might be scared to look at this problem. So this is example number four, I believe. So that is sine x, sine y. So some students will be um, scared when they say the uh, when they see these uh, functions, the trigonometric functions. This is dx. Okay, dx plus cosine x cosine y dy is equal to 0. Okay? So we have this. So we need to find the general solution of this differential equation. So just copy the solution. I know, just copy the given problem in the part of our solution. Okay? Plus cosine a, x cosine y dy is equal to 0 then we divide both sides so we have our sine y here so we need to put the sine y over here so that will be over okay so that is the shortcut for that if on the other term your uh, the term that needs to be eliminated or the function that needs to be eliminated is on the other side or or the other side, you need to transfer to the other side. So you just make that function the numerator. Then for this one, the cosine x, so it is on the other side. So you have also this one, cosine x. Then you will have a fraction of a function. Then you just multiply that one to the rest of the differential equation. So that will be cancelled out. So you have sine x over cosine x dx plus um we have cosine y over sine y dy 
is equal to 0. Okay, so this will be, um, this we will integrate that one, integrate and integrate. So some of you will be tempted, no? the term for that is to be tempted. No? You will be tempted to, um, to uh, get the uh, trigonometric um, identity of these terms here, but just treat this one as a regular integral. Okay, so this is just a um, integral of an exponential or a logarithmic function. So your u here is this one, the cosine x. So the the cosine x. So the what is the um, the derivative of cosine x? So that will be sine x. So you have here negative ln. So your you have sine x in the top, so you only need negative cosine x plus, so this one, the u here, the function u, so this is sine y, so uh, du over u, so the derivative of sine y is cosine y, so this is ln sine y is equal to c, or we have, because we are both in ln, so we could have ln c here. Then you transpose the ln cosine x to the other side of the equation. So we end up ln sine y is equal to ln c plus ln cosine x. So this is plus using the properties of logarithms. So you could say ln sine y is equal to ln um, c times cosine x. Then raise both sides of the equation. So, E L N sine Y, E L N C cosine X. So, you will end up with, so this will be uh, just, we will be left only by the abscissa. So, we have sine Y is equal to C cosine X. And this will be now our uh, answer. Okay. So, that is what as separation of variables, the method of separation of variables in solving uh, first order um, ordinary differential equations. So on the next topic that we will discuss, we will go to the homogeneous differential equation. So thank you for watching this video. Um, I hope you understand something and as always, keep on studying.